it's Lori and I'm here today to show you how to use the negatives from the paper tray ink cover plates. Um, if you've noticed lately on my blog I've been using a lot of the negatives instead of just the, the full cover plate and I wanted to show you an easy way I found to do this. Um, this one is using the striped, the horizontal stripes cover plate. This one I made for the 4th of July using the star and you can see I just used a portion of it instead of the whole covering the whole front. And then this one is the center stage die. I just um, put the melon or the berry sorbet paper onto the gray card base, and um, I just really love the way that looks. So I wanted to show you an easy way to do that. And I am going to use the uh, diagonal stripe, and I've already cut it out, and it's still laying here on my cutting plate. So basically, I have a stamp set. I've got my card planned out and the only other thing that you need is press and seal. Um, sometimes when you cut your plates they stick together and that's great. When you really want it to stick together that's when it doesn't and it falls apart. So I'm just going to use a little piece and then put the sticky side down. I've tried this with washi and some painters tape which you could probably use too but um, sometimes I've had the front uh, kind of shred a little bit and I want the, sh the front of the of the paper to stay nice and smooth so I just press this down really well and then you just peel it up off your cutting plate and it all sticks together so it's all on one big chunk and then I use some Tombow Mono let me cut my or fold my base here. And obviously if you wanted to stick it down you can see through that um, press and seal. So you could put it down and cover the whole thing or you can just pick uh, a few lines. I'm just going to use a few lines. So I'm going to take this Tombow Mono and just put a little bit of glue on the ones that I want to stay on my card and actually I'm only going to use four of them for this card but this is so nice because by doing it this way these are evenly placed just line that up with your card base and again just press that down you could probably put something heavy on top of this just for a little bit so those first four lines will stick And then when you're ready, you just pull that up. And those first four lines are just down perfectly centered. And then I'm going to take some Tombow vellum adhesive. This is my favorite vellum adhesive. And I'm going to just stick a little bit behind the ampersand. I use grand ampersand. I cut out the die cut and then I heat emboss the now and forever and then I use the little hearts trio and then I'm just going to stick that down right there. I'm going to use a little wooden button to fill in the hole. You could stick some floss through there or something like that too. but. So basically that finishes off the card.